Hello everyone. In this session, we will discuss about the some problems. So, the given problem is open loop transfer function of unit feedback system. This is not a problem. This is a problem. Output of the second order system for unit step input equal y of t. So, the given input r of t is nothing but y of t. Okay. And we have the output, he given output also that is 1 minus 2 by root 3 e power minus t cos of root 3 minus 5 by 6. The transfer function of the system. So he given input r of t and we can name it as the c of t also. Okay. And the question is, he is asking to find out the transfer function. So general, so he mentioned this is a second order system. So whenever the unit step input, unit step input is applied to the second order transfer function, second order system, then, then the output value directly we have the formula the output equal to 1 minus e power zeta omega n t by under root of 1 minus zeta square sin omega d t plus phi so this is the formula already we have directly already we did this formula so directly we have the formula once again whenever the unit step input is given to second order system the output formula equal 1 minus e power zeta omega and t under root 1 minus zeta square sin omega d d plus phi. So here but the given output is 1 minus 2 root 3 e power minus t cos root 3 t minus 5. Look at here. It is in cos term. But given in output is in sine. So that's why we should convert into the sine. How we will convert this sine? So we will convert this cos of root 3 t minus 5 by 6. So I will write like this. Sine phi by 2 plus root 3 t minus phi by 6 or we can use this is the first case that will be converted into sign and we will convert the second case also we have sine of this is the phi by 2 plus theta this is the phi by 2 minus theta minus root 3 t 5 by 6 this is 5 by 2 plus theta will become cos theta there is no change here 5 by 2 minus theta there is no change but which is we have to prefer so so by using this we have 5 by 2 minus 5 by 6 5 by 2 minus 5 by 6 we have this is 5 by 2 is 90 degrees 5 by 6 means 30 what we have 60 then finally we can write sine root 3t plus 60 is the one thing and if we are using the second case how the second case sign will become minus root 3 2 and this is 90 again plus become minus into minus become plus 30 it has 120 look at here this is minus root 3 and this is the 120 just compare here this is cos root 3 2 this is sin omega d so look at here here omega d is positive but here omega d is negative omega d always positive omega d must be always positive what is omega d omega d you know that damping frequency damping frequency always positive so that's why we are not using this condition we should we should go for this condition so the finally the given 
the given output can be written like this the output is we are using this is this we are using this is the thing and we will write like this that is finally we are modifying the output is given output y of t equal to 1 minus 2 root 3 e power minus t and sine root 3t plus 60 and we should compare with the output ct equal to what is the output ct here e power minus zeta omega n t by root of 1 minus zeta square root of 1 minus zeta square here okay sin omega d plus root 3 sin omega d plus root 3 okay so just sin omega d t plus 5 yes now we will need to find out the transfer function we know that we should find out first we should compare we should compare with the different different system so zeta omega and this is so look at here one is there here zeta omega one is there just compare the both things we have one equal to zeta omega n yes and here just look at here this is the 2 by root 3 and this is the this is this is the constant term this is the constant term just compare with these two terms then i will write 2 by root 3 equal 2 by root 3 equal 1 by root of 1 minus zeta square so we will find out so we are we are we if we solving root of 1 minus zeta square equal root 3 by 2 okay so from this 1 minus zeta square equal to 3 by 4 okay so by solving this we will get the zeta value equal directly the 0.5 zeta value equal to 0.5 by using this zeta value substitute here so when we are substituting here zeta 0.5 equal into omega n so by solving this we will get omega n equal to 1 by 0.5 that is the 2 so omega n we will get the value is the 2 we will get the value is 2 here also omega n value equal to 2 right so we already got the two things one is omega another one is theta so what is the second order transfer function general formula second order transfer function second order transfer function equal omega n square by s square plus 2 zeta omega n s plus omega n square so substitute all these values in the equation therefore this is 2 square by s square plus 2 zeta zeta is 0.5 and omega n equal to 2 into s by 2 square so therefore the transfer function equal to 4 by this is s square plus 2 into 0.5 1 into 2 this is the 2 s and this is the 4 so therefore this is the second order transfer function it is 4 by s square 2s plus 4 okay this is the one of the important model he is giving output and he is giving input then he should ask to find out the transfer function so for that purpose first you write the second order transfer function closed loop transfer function then then the you have to find out the unknown values two unknown values one is zeta another one is the omega n substitute these values in the equation we will get the transfer function okay next we have the second problem the second problem is open loop transfer function of unity feedback system is given by 
k by s into s plus 2. So the given given the open loop transfer function g of s equal to k by s into s plus 2. For peak overshoot or overshoot of the closed loop system to a unit step input. So he is taking the input r of t is the unit step. Okay. And closed loop overshoot. So overshoot is 10 percent from this he is asking to find out the value of the k okay so generally he is giving the open loop transfer function so directly he is mentioned this is the open loop transfer function right so whenever he is giving open loop transfer function just directly find out the closed loop transfer function closed loop transfer function what is the closed loop transfer function k by s into s plus 2 plus k so by solving this k by s square plus 2s plus k so we should compare with these two we have omega n square by s square plus 2 zeta omega n s plus omega n square so in this we will write we should compare these two k omega n square equal to k is the one uh, next we should compare this two equal to two zeta omega n so we will write two value equal to two zeta omega n from this we will write omega n equal to root k okay root k and 2 to cancel here 1 equal to zeta omega n here you know that zeta omega n value is the root k so we will write zeta equal to 1 by root k 1 by root k so but what he is given he is given the peak overshoot so what is the formula for peak overshoot just write down the formula for the peak overshoot peak overshoot formula equal for unit step input the formula is e power zeta omega n by under root of 1 minus zeta square the root of 1 minus zeta square it is in exponential form so the he is given peak overshoot if, if you require the percentage peak overshoot we will have the 100 here and he mentioned the 10 equal to the 10 equal to so under root of e power in this we know the values of zeta zeta is root 1 by root k the substitute here zeta value is 1 by root k into omega n omega n value is root k so omega n value is root k now we should write 1 minus zeta here also zeta equal 1 by root k 1 by root k this is the whole square so you should close it and into 100 so by removing the 100 so keep the 100 here 100 is outside here so finally we have here 0 0.1 okay so here root k root k will be cancelled so the remaining term is e power minus 1 is there and second one is 1 minus 1 by k 1 minus 1 by k into 100 yes okay so 100 is removed so by how we are removed 10 by 100 will become 0.1 okay so from this we can write applying the logarithm here we will have then removing the exponential we have this log 0.1 equal to minus 1 by root 1 minus 1 by k right so log base e 0.1 value we know that minus 2.30 and the remaining is 1 by root of 1 minus 1 k so this minus minus will be cancelled 
okay so minus minus will be cancel so if you are removing the root if you are removing the root it has the square uh, adding both squares then we will have 2.30 square we have the 5.29 equal to 1 by 1 minus 1 by k 1 by 1 minus k so from this we will write 1 minus 1 by k value equal to 1 by 5.29 1 by 5.29 okay so this 1 by 5.29 we will have 0.18 so this is have the 0.18 and this is 1 by 1 minus k here 1 by k equal to 1 by minus 0.18 then we will become 0.82 here the k value equal to 1 by 0.82 so by solving this we will get the k value equal to 1.21 1.21 so this is the required answer so this is the another important model that is whenever he is giving the some open loop transfer function and giving some overshoot we will follow the procedure okay i hope all of you understand this session thank you